everyone and welcome to part 11 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first creating the admin panel and then we will start working on the website okay uh, so we are working on the updating admin password and in this video we are going to check the current password we are checked that the current password is correct or incorrect okay so in the last video we have seen that we able to create this update password form uh, this page we have created in which we have added this update admin password form okay so uh, we will give the action to the form and we'll give the ids and name to this form with the csrf token and then uh, we are going to check this current password like if you will fill something then it will instantly tell that the current password is correct or incorrect via ajax okay so that thing we are going to do right now so let's start uh, first of all we need to make sure that update password blade file is having the correct form that we are using here see here here we will add uh, form action method post method we will add as post and action uh, sorry action we are going to add here uh, see we have already created uh, the route earlier that is the admin update password update hyphen password okay so this we will add and along with add rate of csrf token okay so make sure that we have the ids this one we will not use uh, name id current password fine uh, new password uh, name id fine and confirm password name id fine okay uh, button type submit is also fine so now we will create one file custom.js file we will create for the admin in which we will add all jquery functions okay so uh, i'm going to add here in my folder ecom uh, sorry uh, that project 10 is my folder uh, public uh, admin under admin js here i'm going to add the new file i'm going to create the file in mac we need to create the file like this new terminal folder uh, touch uh, custom.js but if you are in windows you know how to create the new file you can go inside the folder and create the new file in windows okay so now i'm going to open the custom.js file here and here i'm going to add the new jquery function uh, by which we are going to uh accept this uh, uh word uh, like the characters that the enter by the admin okay we will pick those character and we'll check uh here in our admins table okay we are going to check in our admins table that the password entered by the user is correct or incorrect okay by the admin okay so that thing we are going to do so for that uh, uh we will write the code in ajax okay so uh, jquery function we are going to add here dollar document dot ready function okay so here uh, inside this we are going to add here uh, we will uh, comment also like check admin password is correct or not okay so here uh, we are going to pick that uh, current password we are going to check the current password and key up event we are going to use okay every time if the user uh, will go to the next tab next field uh, it will check that the current password is correct or not okay so we are going to take its value value variable current password equal to dollar uh, current password dot value okay so we are going to alert first of all uh, that we able to fetch the current password or not okay here uh, also see this file we will add uh, this file in our layout uh, blade file okay so make sure that we will add this file uh, here somewhere uh, okay so we can even give the comment like uh, custom js file okay, custom js okay like this uh, then we will add here script uh, here source url under admin under js under custom dot js okay 
okay so this one we will add now we can try here we'll write something we'll check that alert is working or not okay here i will write something uh, inspect i will also open the inspect here and we'll see that uh, i think it is not working right now uh, we need to see whether uh, this is working or not admin js custom dot js okay so here uh, see here is the issue uh, we uh, need to see it will end here okay now uh, it must work fine okay like this now it must work fine let's see we are going to check first of all this current password now it is working fine okay so whatever we will write uh, type here it is coming here okay so that is fine now we can continue uh, so now we will add here ajax code dollar ajax okay so here type post url admin then check current password okay so here data current password that we will send to the uh, uh, our route okay then to the function so that we can update the uh, so, so so that we can verify the current password okay so this function response okay so here error error function and here alert error okay so now uh, we are going to uh, see create its route in web.php here we are going to create uh, the route of check the current password okay here we will write here check current password so this function we are going to create inside admin controller public function check current password and here we are going to take a request dollar request okay so here we will take dollar data dollar request all and if hash here we are going to check hash check uh, we are going to check the current password that is entered by the user or admin okay whatever that is entered uh, and we are going to check it with the uh, with the password that is uh, stored in the database that is uh, uh, already logged in with the auth we can we can compare it with the auth as complete data is in auth now uh, this complete data this password we are having in auth uh, after login we will get the complete data in auth complete user data in auth okay so this one auth guard admin and we are going to compare with the password with the admin guard user password like this okay so here if it is if it match then return true like this else return false okay so now uh, it will go here uh, here see here we are going to uh, print its response uh, so what we are going to do here we are going to uh, check the response here if uh, uh, response is false like response 
equal to equal to false and uh, here one more condition else if response is true okay these two condition uh, else if response is true in case of false uh, we are going to show there like current password is incorrect okay so uh, what we are going to do here we will uh, take one span here and id uh, and here we will take like verify current password okay like this anything we can uh, give id here any id that you like so verify current password uh, this we are going to take here like in case of false see uh, this we are going to add html to this one and we are going to add here like uh, current password is incorrect okay so in case it is true then current password is correct so now we are going to check now let's see uh, but one thing is left here we are going to uh, alert is not required and here we will add here use hash as we are going to compare with the hash okay with the admin uh, hash okay so there is seems to be one syntax error also we are going to see where is the syntax error uh, here seems to be syntax error here it will not come uh, check as check after that uh, now it seems to be fine okay and here uh, one more is required i think uh, yeah one more is required like this okay so now we are going to try again okay so uh, the field is on. okay fine so now uh, we will try here uh, okay straight away error starts coming here the post method is not supported uh, check current password we are going to see its route uh, okay we require to create here the post route okay so now we are going to test once again and here like i will if i will enter some so again see a set of token mismatch okay so uh, see this one for resolving this issue uh, we will uh, search here csrf token uh, that is that is required for ajax okay add csrf token uh, to laravel ajax okay so we just require to update here a uh, few things okay so like uh, this header we are required to update uh, in our ajax every time okay we just require to add this one whenever we'll start ajax we will just require this header to start for the security purpose for the csrf token and also in layout okay we will just add this one one time process meta name okay this one we are going to add here after this one uh, like this so now i hope that this error will not come let's see so here we are going to test that the current password uh, it will tell or not we are, will type something and we'll see see it is telling current password is incorrect and if you will enter the correct password then it will tell us that current password is correct okay so now it is working fine and once again we will see here like if you will type something wrong password then it will tell current password is incorrect and if you will type something correct password then it will say the current password is correct okay so the functionality is working fine here uh, we are checking via ajax that the current password is correct or incorrect okay in the next video we are going to submit the new password see first uh, that admin will uh, will enter the new password and the same password here in the confirm password field and we'll click on submit uh, to save the new password okay so that functionality we are going to do in the next video so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time Good.